you're this perp back with another video and this is my second part of my free Rayshawn review this is a show on QB I have a bunch of other QB content uh, on the channel I'll put a playlist in the description below where you could catch all my future QB content but before I get into this review hit that like button hit that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter at perpminded420 now man i already was impressed by the first three episodes you can go check out my first impressions these are just going to be my final impressions and how i overall felt felt about the whole entire series um out of all the qb stuff that i've reviewed this has definitely been the most popular as far as views goes so it's like yeah i definitely gotta make a part two as soon as possible i think the performances but by um stephen james and lawrence fishberg were amazing in this very suspenseful um incredible standoff to you know the whole overall message behind this series is uh police brutality and just you know all the people over the time over the last decade that's been killed by cops and you know that might rub some people the wrong way but this is reality this shit happens um i loved how you know he wasn't going to let his family get caught in a crossfire he was held up uh with them for the longest in this series come to find out ray uh ray sean's not hiding anything but he's definitely being framed they show that in the last uh second to last episode what really went down they have a whole video footage that could clear his name but the you know authorities don't want to release it which is kind of suspect because this stuff kind of happens a lot in real life and you know in the result of that he ends up losing his life um and that creates chaos with the people watching outside and you know i really liked how they utilized instagram on here like little bits whenever he was on instagram or sharing things on social media to get people support um you know uh it, it was really cool to see that i wish we got a little bit more of that but it's cool um like i said they need to utilize that portrait mode and that was a perfect way for them to do that but all because these crooked cops or these undercover cops wanted to plant some shit on him they couldn't uh they, he found out that the officer that was uh killed you know he was a marine so he didn't want to sell to him so that uh that officer had to come up with a new plan he put a whole uzi on his lap and i would have i would have done the same exact thing in that situation because that shit is like dangerous and i don't blame rishon you know and just to see the reaction of his his girlfriend and you know his his son it was really sad but i gotta give it to lawrence fishberg he just straight up killed it especially of this this last episode my only gripe is that i wish they would have kind of shown the footage like people would have got to see the footage on social media and it, it kind of sucks we didn't get to see that but i really liked lawrence fishberg's whole performance everybody did a really stellar job you know um with this series i think um i think there's a lot to really think about and reflect with this series it's a very emotional roller coaster from start to finish you know to put your family in that situation and kind of have your back against the wall and you know this like i said this stuff happens daily and i i, I do like how they closed this out with you know they had the hashtag free rashawn and then they had the rip and they showed all the people that have been killed over uh po police brutality and stuff and you know that that really hit me deep down inside and it was just like man it's 
it's like a never ending cycle with this shit and you know but i i thoroughly enjoyed this whole entire series let me know how you feel about this series in the comments below um try to not try not to spoil anything in the comments if you do just put the tag spoiler but until next time i will see y'all later peace Success, period. I'm gonna get the shit done whether niggas like it, love it, hate it, whatever. I'm a savage, whatever I want, I'm going to get. Whatever I want, I have to get. I'm the greatest. See, other motherfuckers ain't gonna be the greatest. I don't even want them around me, man.